uh, Redemption Church leaders, Pastor Paul here. Listen, Easter is right upon us. I mean, we are uh, just a little bit over a week out. Hopefully by the time you watch this, we'll still be over a, a week out from Easter Sunday. The playbook uh, is out now. We've kind of stopped doing these uh, from week to week, and, and that's that's fine. We don't really need them week to week, but on, on Easter, we really gear things up because we have a lot more visitors. We're extending hospitality with a, with a lot of intentionality over a larger scale. Now, obviously, week to week, we want to be intentional about our hospitality, but uh, on Easter, I mean, this is the big leagues. This is uh, this is the the big dance. And again, I, it's not that our church uh, worships Jesus more on Easter. Uh, it's not that that we as leadership uh, like Easter better. It's just the uh, the facts of life are and statistics and experience is going to show us that that more people will be in the room on Easter Sunday than any other Sunday of the year and so so because of that that's what creates this extra need for hospitality this extra need for intentionality in it and so that uh, we're we're just a little bit over one week away from it so the playbook is out so as a team leader uh, what i would love for you to do please do this please take that playbook it's only four pages you can skim through that but please address it and look at it and read it and take ownership of the desires that we're going to have um, for excellence and hospitality and uh, stuff on Easter Sunday. There's a few extra roles that you'll need to recruit people for on Easter Sunday and again this is such a great opportunity to extend hospitality to others and so sell it to your and you don't shouldn't have to sell it that's not what I mean uh, but uh, give it to your uh, group exhort your group uh, cast vision to your group and volunteers in such a way that that this is just uh, this is the biggest day of the year as far as the number of visitors we're gonna have uh, ears that are going to hear and hearts that are going to be impacted by the message of the gospel um, more so than any other Sunday of the year. And so because of that, we can kind of lay ourselves down a little bit extra. We can come a little bit earlier. Uh, this is just one Sunday a year that we can can show up sooner. We can work extra hard. We can uh, push ourselves a little bit more towards excellence and towards engagement of the people who are there. So please look at that playbook. Please take ownership of the, the roles that will be under you and of all the information that's in there. And let's show up Easter Sunday uh, just super jacked that Jesus is alive, just like we would every other uh, Sunday, but also aware that more people than ever, maybe some of them for the very first time, and, and for many of them, uh, this will be one of only a few times a year or maybe only once a year that they really engage the truth of the gospel and engage the people of God. So if we are kind and generous and excited and happy and extending hospitality and kindness and excellence to them, again, that just glorifies God and makes Jesus look extremely valuable and makes the gospel appear to be so precious. So, so please don't just pass over this as a ministry team leader. This is a big deal. So look at that playbook, number one, and, and take ownership of the content there. Recruit the extra volunteers that you're going to need and cast vision to them, whether you do that through text message or email or on the city or over the phone, but cast vision to them of the deep gospel impact that their role is going to have in lives on Easter Sunday morning so that we come in not like, oh man, I have to serve on Easter, but we come in saying, I get to serve on Easter. The day that the most people um, are going to hear the gospel and the neediest people are going to hear the gospel, I get to serve on that day. I get to be a part of the advance of the kingdom on that day. I get to be a part of God building his church, Jesus building his church on that day so that we come excited for that, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. I mean, 
Redemption Church is is firing a lot of our ministry teams on all cylinders right now, and I know that Easter will be no exception. Deeply thankful for uh, your contribution to Redemption Church for the kingdom of God and for the building of Christ Church in Huntington, West Virginia. You guys are beautiful and wonderful. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email or a message on the city, and I'll answer them as best as I can. Thank you all so much.